Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be looking at some brand new shell goals, as well as the latest wave of villagers to join Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So right now we're in the middle of the latest scavenger hunt event, which of course is scattering hundreds of snow park gyrodite all around our campgrounds. As always, the idea of the event is to find and collect as many of these gyrodite nuggets as possible and craft a whole bunch of snow park themed items. Don't worry if like me you still have a whole bunch of gyrodite to find because there are still 4 days left of the event so plenty of time to catch up. Now just a couple of days ago, three brand new villagers joined our campgrounds in the latest Host of Most event. This month's Host of Most event introduces Puck, Sky and Hans, along with their respective villager pitches and some brand new furniture items. As always, these new villagers have of course increased the max level now to a massive 170, which is insane. I know a few people who are at the max level right now, but you really do have to be grinding daily to get anywhere close. I'm still happy sitting at around 130, I only have a few more villagers to push level 20 with only a couple of special items left to craft. The host of most event ends in 3 days time giving Puck, Sky and Hans priority in rotations until the end of the weekend which is handy. As always there are some time goals running alongside the event which is a great opportunity to earn some extra bells, calling cards and leaf tickets. Now for those who have already completed the scavenger hunt and the host of most event or if you're just looking for even more tasks to complete a new style of goals have just been added. Starting today some new shell goals are available in the time goals section. Basically we now have 3 days to collect as many shells as we can from the beach down at saltwater shores. Much in the same way as the butterfly goals we saw a few weeks back the more shells we collect the more prizes we can earn. The structure of this new style of goals offer up leaf tickets for every goal met followed by fortune cookies once a tier has been completed. In total there are approximately 45 leaf tickets up for grabs as well as a Tommy's fortune cookie and 2 premium cookies which is awesome. Unfortunately only shells from the beach count towards the goals as any shells given from animals or bought from the marketplace don't count. With that said, shells caught in throw nets do count, so if you're not finding many spawning on the beach or you have a few spare nets lying around, make sure you use them to grab a few extra shells. Saltwater Shores is a good place to be right now as you'll not only find a bunch of shells and gyrodite, but you'll probably catch a new villager or two checking out the vacation spot. So yeah, as always lots going on, but that pretty much covers all the latest news surrounding Animal Crossing Pocket Camp right now. As always, if you would like regular updates or to simply support this channel, don't forget to head over to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash mayomori. Of course, I would like to thank every single supporter over there too. You guys are truly amazing and really do help make these videos happen. Anyway, if you got this far in the video, please comment level just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And be sure to include what level you're at and what you hope to win in your fortune cookie prizes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.